In this video, I am going to show you how to add WooCommerce product tabs in Elementor. And this is exactly what we are going to achieve by the end of this tutorial. And I am going to show you how to add it on the home page of my website. Without wasting my time, let's jump right into the tutorial. So I go to the home page, then I go ahead and click on edit with Elementor. And now it should take us to the Elementor page builder. Now there's a short code here that is displaying the products we are seeing here. So what I do is just go ahead and click on it and this is the short code. But we are not going to use the short code widget. What we want to do is convert our products into different tabs. As you can see we have men, women and kids. So when you just click on any of these tabs, it will give them the products accordingly. For this you can go to elements by clicking on the nine dots icon right here then you search for tabs this is what we get from the free elementor plugin but this one is not intuitive it wouldn't give us the nice look we are seeing here for this we are going to install an add-on for elementor before i move out of here i'll update the page then i go to the back end of my website go over to plugins click on add new and the search plugin, we enter the name of the plugin we want to use, which is Essential Add-ons. Just enter Essential Add-ons and it will give you Essential Add-ons for Elementor. I click on Install now. This plugin will give us over 40 plus standard free widgets in addition to the Elementor page builder. It is installed, I activate. Next, let's set it up, just leave it as basic. I click on next and these are the various elements it will give us as you can see some of them are enabled others are not we can view all and this is the very one we want to use that is advanced tabs so since we are not going to be using the rest of them I will advise we disable them so I just go ahead and disable them from here I've disabled all of them except advanced tabs, but they have intuitive elements you can use on your website if you want to use them. I click on next, 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 going down, click on next, and I click on no thanks. And the setup is done. Now if I go back to my Elementor editor and reload the page, going down, this is where I want to add a take note. Now you see that the products are showing. So if I go to elements and I search for tabs again, you see apart from what we are getting from the Elementor page builder, we have one coming from essential add-ons and you see we have EA right here, which stands for essential add-ons and it's advanced tabs. I just click on it, drag and drop under the short code we were seeing earlier. And this is how it will look like. Now we can take off the one with the short code. Just right click on the pencil icon. Then click on remove. To edit this, just click on the pencil icon. You can choose to use horizontal or vertical. Whichever way you want. I think the horizontal will do well for us. We don't want to see icons. So I disable it from here. Next, we go over to content. And this way we enter the content for our tabs. The first one we have tab title one. Just click on it. And this way you change it. The first one I enter main. Going down. This is where you want to enter the short code to the best selling products. And to get the short code, I open a new tab. Then I type WooCommerce short codes. I have it here. Just click on it to search. The first link will do fine. That is WooCommerce.com forward slash document forward slash WooCommerce. Click on it. Then we scroll down to product scenarios, which is right here. Example of product scenarios. And we are going to look for best selling products, which is right here. So I just go ahead and copy it. Then going back to my Elementor editor. I highlight all what is here, take it off. At the moment, we are under visual. 
you can go over to text then you go ahead and paste in your short code and it will display the products now it has given us three columns as well as three products as you can see here the limit is set to three i want to make it four now we have four meanwhile it's in two lines we don't want it to be in two lines so we make it four columns instead of three columns so this way we change that and now it's looking better however this best selling product is coming from all the products i have on my shop irrespective of the category so let's alter our code so that it will pick only the main category so what we can do is after the best selling we can add category just click after the inverted commas make sure there's space then enter category i will make a smaller test next is equal sign then make sure you get the double inverted commas then inside the inverted commas you want to enter the name of your category in my case it is set to main so i enter main right here and now you see different set of products all this you are seeing is under the main category and it's no more pulling from all the products so what i do is copy the new short code and we are done with this tab i just click on it to collapse it then we go to the second tab the title is going to be women going down the text at the moment is set to visual i go to text i take this out and i paste in my short code and that one too will pull from the main category if we click on women you see that we still see the main category products so i change this from men to women Now, if I go over to women, you see different products which are under women category. Let's collapse this. Then we go to the final tab. I enter kids. I go over to text. I take this one off and I paste in the new code and I change it from men to kids. Now, if I go to the kids tab, you see only kids products. Perfect. Now let's customize the colors of the tabs. To do that, we go over to style. Next, I go over to tab title. Here, I'm going to change the background color. For normal, I'll click on the globe icon and I'm going to choose color seven. You see that it has changed. And the text color, I click on the globe icon and I choose one of my darkest colors, which is color 4. Next, I go over to hover. So when we hover, which color do we want to see? The background color, I go to the globe icon, and I'm going to choose color 5, which is perfect. The hover color, I change it from white to my color 4. Awesome. Next, I go to active. This is the active color. Which color do I want to see? The background, I change it to color 6. Meanwhile, I'll change the text color from white to my color 4. Now it's looking better. We are done with tab title. I click on it to collapse it. We are not going to do anything under content. We have replaced the text with short code. So we move out of here. Then I go to carrot. This is the carrot. That is the arrow pointing down here. If I choose any of the tabs, you see the arrow. If you want to change the color, you can change it from here. As you can see, the color has changed. But I'm not going to use it, so I disable it from here. Next, we have responsive controls. At the moment, vertical layout is enabled. You wouldn't see the effects on the desktop view. You see that there's no effect now let's take it to mobile view if i click on responsive mode then i go over to mobile scrolling down you see the way it is now if i disable the vertical layout you see that they will now be stacked on top of each other so whichever one you want you can use accordingly 
I'm going to go ahead and use the vertical layout. I exit from the mobile mode. Now, if you want to create a complete online store just like this one, make sure you stick around to watch this video on your screen right now. Keep watching and I'll see you there.